How's it going, guys? The sun's out. What is going on? It is the 1st of February, and I wanted to do the first polytunnel tour of the year. As I'm doing this, we are busy, busy potting in the tunnel just over there. But I wanted to take the opportunity to actually show you some of the plants that you have got coming to you from Urban Herbs this year. Plants that I think you're gonna be really, really excited about. Life's really, really exciting and busy here at the minute. You know that we love what we do and we don't mind the long hours, but it is a lot of really, really long hours at the moment. So we just wanted to take a few minutes to do this tour and update you on what's going on. I've got a lot of plants to introduce you to, so let's crack on with the tour. Look what I've just found here. This beautiful, tiny little Corsican mint. That smells so good. I wish that you could smell just how good this looks. Smell how good this looks? I wish that you could smell just how amazing this smells right now. For those of you who haven't met Corsican mint before, this is a low growing variety of mint, carpet forming, aromatic ground cover. It's great for ground cover actually. If you've got a spot that you want filling, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. When I first met Corsican mint, I didn't like the flavor. I thought it was too strong, it was too intense. Now I love drinking tea made with this fabulous Corsican mint. I've just found a little pot of lemon balm but this isn't just ordinary lemon balm. This is a variety called variegated lemon balm. If you check out our Instagram feed, you'll see some pictures of this because it looks absolutely stunning. I love how the foliage looks when the sunlight hits it. This is lemon balm that's got the beautiful green foliage, but also that gold variegation. And it's just as tasty as your normal lemon balm. Great for adding to fish. For that kind of lemony flavour. But I love making a tea with this variety too. So variegated lemon balm, that's going to be very, very popular this year. Let's move down the tunnel. Next to the variegated lemon balm, it's a variety called Thyme Dune Valley. I always think it's got a really cool name, but this is a variety that I struggle to sell sometimes because it's not obvious what it does. The lemon curd thyme that's just behind me there, it sells itself, it's cool, it's interesting. You just heard me say lemon curd thyme and maybe you're thinking, what, lemon curd, really? Yeah, really, but I'll get to that in a minute. Thyme Dune Valley is just a beautiful variety of thyme with golden variegation and a slightly lemony flavour. Really, really good for landscaping, for adding to pots for interest and it's really good in the slow cooker as well. Thyme Dune Valley, I think you're gonna love that one. I just found a more mature version of that beautiful Thyme Dune Valley. Look how cool that looks. How could people not wanna buy that? Maybe actually I need to do a better job of communicating just how beautiful that variety is. Maybe I should do a video talking just about Thyme Dune Valley. What do you guys think? I had to show you this, Roman Chamomile. This is a variety that we actually posted about on Instagram a couple of days ago. This is the variety of chamomile that you should grow if you want to drink chamomile tea. I've got really into drinking chamomile tea the last few years. Just that smell makes me feel genuinely so relaxed. I absolutely love it. It looks really good too. And one of the other big things that we're going to be talking about this year is providing options, pollinators for bees. And this produces a flower that the bees absolutely love. You'll certainly be competing with the bees to get to these beautiful white daisy flowers that Roman Calamar produces. Lemon curd thyme. That is one of my absolute favourites. I'm sure that the day will come that I get bored of this smell, but that day is not today. After trading at food festivals and farmers markets around the UK for years and years, I got to see people's reaction to this amazing plant over and over again. People would walk past the stand and they'd say, Lemon curd, really? Yeah, right. And then they'd smell it and they'd be amazed. And I saw in their reaction, my reaction, when I first encountered it. That's what the most special varieties of herbs do, right? It encourages you, it gets you, it renews your faith in the fact that there are really cool, amazing plants out there. 
Whatever I talk about next is going to seem a bit boring after lemon curd time, right? I had to show you the lemon thyme that's next to the nut. <laughs> I had to show you this lemon thyme. It's actually right next door to the lemon curd thyme, but I think the lemon thyme is really cool. There's certain dishes that actually the lemon curd thyme wouldn't complement, and you need that slightly more musky, deep lemon thyme flavour. This variety is a classic, and it's one that I absolutely love. I just found some gold tip marjoram. You can see why it gets the name. Can you see the variegation on that leaf? It's a variety that amazes me because every year when we overwinter this variety, the beautiful golden variegation comes out at this time of year and blows my socks off. I mean, I love marjoram anyway. I eat too much pasta and pizza, so that makes sense. But gold tip marjoram, it really does look special, doesn't it? Maybe it would look good in a planter next to that thyme dune valley. There's an idea, perhaps I should do a little video planting up some of those two together. Talking of varieties that look really good, how good does this thyme archer's gold look? I really hope the sun doesn't go in just as I'm showing you this one. <laughs> how beautiful does that look? And again, you get that classic thyme flavor with a hint of citrus, really good for the slow cooker. This is a variety I absolutely love. Guys, I really hope that you enjoyed that impromptu polytunnel tour. We're going to do these regularly and we're going to do them on Instagram as well. Please follow Urban Herbs on Instagram. And if you've enjoyed this video, please leave us a comment below. Hit the like button, subscribe. It really does help a small business like ours to grow. Excuse the pun. Until next time, guys. Thank you so much for your time watching this. It really is appreciated. See you later. Bye-bye.